Investigators have learned the numbers of homicides is up in Cleveland and many major cities across not just Ohio, but the U.S. So our new Channel 5 investigation looks beyond the statistics tonight to reveal why murder rates are up. Investigator Sarah Buttison, you found a concrete reason. Danita, the causes of crime trends are always clear, but when it comes to homicides this year, experts point to just one problem. He was the apple of everyone's eye. Benji Elatiche's firstborn son. Going beyond the call of duty to assist people. Always put others first. Taking his shirt off the, his back to give to somebody else to be warm. That's the type of person Troy was. Especially his two little girls. And he told me, he said, Ma, all I want is my babies and you. On September 13th, Troy Mitter and his uncle made an early morning stop at this gas station near his home in the city of Baltimore. But for some reason, I felt it. I couldn't. I was uneasy that night. Then came the call. And it was my baby sister. She said, Benji, Troy just got shot. She said, I want you to say goodbye to him. I said, what do you mean? You want me to say goodbye? She said, he didn't make it. Troy's death is part of a frightening trend. News Channel 5 investigators found the numbers of homicides are up in major cities around the U.S. 332 people have been killed just in Baltimore. Chicago and Washington, D.C. have also seen murder rates rise. Then, we looked at Ohio's 10 largest cities and found homicide rates rose in half of them, including Cincinnati, Akron, Parma, Youngstown, and Cleveland. But in some cases, we can identify contributing factors. Wendy Ragozzi is a criminologist at Cleveland State University. Um, when we see increases in rivalries among organized gangs in cities like we've seen in Cleveland, uh, in Chicago, and Baltimore this year, that those are often behind increases in lethal violence. I heard him start crying. And I just, I knew I was hit because I felt it in my legs. So when he started crying like that, I knew something was wrong. One example, the murder of three-year-old Major Howard. Detectives say his death in a drive-by shooting in September was gang-related. It's not fair. They took a three-year-old life. Some law enforcement officials have also blamed the so-called Ferguson effect, a theory police officers fear taking action after an officer-involved shooting of an unarmed black man in the St. Louis suburbs sparked massive protests. Ragozzi says... There's no proof. Uh, studies that have been done uh, have not found any supporting evidence of such an effect there. If you can protest about a police officer killing a black person, then you need to protest about a black person killing a black person. Troy's murder remains unsolved. Benji says it's time communities around the country stop accepting the violence plaguing their streets. A life is a life is a life. We asked Cleveland police what they're doing to stop gang violence here. A spokesperson says CPD's gang impact unit has confiscated more than 100 guns this year. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buttison, News Channel 5.